Readings and Salutations everyone, Amadeus44 here, and welcome back to another episode of I Am Dead, also known as Neverwinter Nights. Anyways, let's see what we have around here. Oh yeah, around March Journal. Duh. I forgot to pick that up. Oops. Okay then, let's just keep on a going. And we've got Pixies and Griggs. Yay. Boop. And... Uh-oh, oh, good. Thought I was, uh... Tangled. Nope. Good. There we go. And let's check that rubble. Spirit Poison Antidote. Wow, that was easy. The only antidote for the poison that has weakened and created the spirit of the wood found in a pile of rubble in the spirit's realm. Jeez. Here I was expecting a much longer journey to get that. With uh, some really nasty enemies to take care of. But no! Okay. Great. Well, let's just get out of that entangled zone and have those pixies go towards me. As well as that will o wisp Hi, will o wisp Landed. They brought the entanglement to me. But fortunately, I'm doing very good on my saves. Now, where are the last ones? Ah, there's one. Hi. Oop, that was good. I'd almost say that was great. Okay. Nothing over here. So I go through here. I'm going to guess yes. Yes, I do. Okay, Griggs and Pixie's over there. And they have already spotted me. Hey guys, um, you mind if I hit you until you stop moving? You do? Well, tough. Okay, you all are dead. And what's over here? Nothing! Nothing at all. Yay. Okay, let's just go. Yeah. I'm guessing the spirit is going to be in the center area. The battle is on! Let's just F6 mode it. Boom, dead. And then Pixie, I'm guessing that's a portal out of here. Maybe. Oh, hi. Some loot chests here. They're not loot chests, but loot things. Fairy dust, yay! Tanglement, yay! Come on, there. Ah! Okay, good, good. Now we rest, heal up, relax, adjust spectacles, adjust seating, adjust headphones, adjust everything.
Okay. Oh, wait, there's more remains. Gotta pick up the remaining remains. Come on. Through. Thank you. And you must be the spirit of the wood. A sense of rage and helplessness emanates, emanates from the spirit of the wood. Sorry, but... Um, do I... Actually, let's just kind of do that. Oh. Oh. Um, oops. Thought I had to pour it here. Um, can I give it to the spirit? Spirit cannot be bartered with. Well, what good are you, Mr. Spirit? Okay, I apologize for saying that. That was wrong of me. Pain, pain, pain. Just heal once more. Please stop. You almost killed me. Um. So, not sure what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, I'm just gonna go and die. That works. Actually, it does not work. Actually, let's go and do some ranged attacking because these enemies are probably going to be better suited for those sorts of attacks. Plus, it's been a while since I last used that bow. Oh, right. Use that. Or pick that up. And hi. Oh, yes. This is much better. Except for the fact that I was briefly confused. That was not much better. In fact, one might say that was worse. Boy. Just let me through, and you can just go and sleep. Okay, fine, I'll melee. Sheesh. Um. Oh, there's my shield. I was about to ask. There we go. Okay, pick up the remains. Hope that they have something other than this stuff. Oh, Malachite. More fairy dust. Yay. Let me guess. Yeah, enemies nearby. Cannot rest. <clears throat> Let's go into uh, this corner. And just relax. And have a little bit of water. Mmm. <clears throat> water. So very... What's the word I'm looking for? Watery. <clears throat> I 
Let's see, can we escape aggroing those pixies over there? No, of course not. <clears throat> the battle is that would be on. good if I did. But All I did not. Games. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> Critical hit. More like critical awesomeness. Come on. There we go. Now you. I said... Now you, ooh, a gold coin, very good. I'll try not to spend it all in one place, even though that's next to impossible. <clears throat> okay, can I slip over here without taking off the pixies? Ah, looks like I was able to avoid those ones. <clears throat> Go into a Z parataki mode. If I can kill them. Come on. Well, I'm both confused and entangled. What is this? Why am I uh, entangled? I don't know. It confuses me. Good. And you are now near death. Well, actually, you're closer to dead dead than near dead. Okay, let us now rest once more. And this time, when we are done resting, we save. First, though, we gotta relax. Save it. <clears throat> very nice, very nice. Now, I am assuming that I need to go and weaken him before he will accept the potion. Which means bark skin. Uh, no, not eagle splendor. Uh, no, let's not do speed. Hmm. Would clarity be a good one to use? I'm not sure. Let's go with, yeah, let's just do bless. <clears throat> Why not? We have four of those, so cat's grace. And I could have sworn I had some bull strength. Or did I use them all? Must have used them all. all use, spirit. Games. Yes, yes, rage and helplessness. Uh crap, I... Uh, he does use Mind Spell, so I should have used... This one. Much better, my guess. So, I have a dropped saving throw. Yay. And just keep on hitting him until he gives up. And then hand him that potion. Must you keep on spiking me? 
Last Q. Uh oh, this could be bad. Wasn't as bad as I thought. Good. But let's heal again. <clears throat> All fun and games. Okay, yes, yes. You are still being painful, but not quite as bad. Good. Considerably less good, but you know what? We should be okay, hopefully. Unless we're not, in which case, balls. He's using much weaker spells, which is a good sign. Oops. I was in a paratech mode. Oops. Thought I accidentally hit F5. Nope. Heal up. Come on. Give up. I know you can. So just do it. I really badly do not wish to kill you. Okay, I need another bless. So, bless away. If I kill him, I'm gonna have to reload. Because I don't want to kill him. Like, seriously. Give up already. Do I have to just place it on one of these altars? Maybe. Oops. Ah, feelings of fear and hopelessness impress themselves in your mind. Excellent. The spirit of, wood, of the wood looks at you in confusion. Can you speak? Blurry images race through your mind. Very little is recognizable except some images of small animals and other woodland creatures. Then the images become clearer. A stream of pictures flickers through your mind. Woodland creatures of all shapes and sizes, trees and bushes, insects and rocks. The images are jumbled together and include everything imaginable that could be found in a forest. The images slow down and... You see one creature. While the details are blurry, it is obviously a dwarf. An image of the spirit appears and the dwarf does something to a tree, but you can't quite understand what he does. Suddenly the dwarf is gone and the image of the spirit begins to fade. The woodland creatures appear again, but this time you see them as if through a red glass. The creatures begin to attack each other and other shapes that might be humanoid. You sense fear and frustration of the spirit as the images jumble together into incomprehensible darkness. The spirit stands staring off into nothing, looking weaker than ever. Uh, fear and despair are the spirit's only response to your return. I have found the cure for you. You see a blurry image of yourself touching the spirit, followed by the spirit getting larger. Why, yes, I will cure you. You walk forward and give the antidote to the spirit. It shudders, then the spirit seems to swell in size. Emotions of joy and love threaten to overwhelm your senses. The images in your mind gain clarity and focus as the spirit recovers from the poison. An image of a fox curled around a sleeping rabbit fills your mind, along with an intensely protective feeling. Now can you show me what happened here? You see a group of men come into the forest. A familiar evil-eyed dwarf is with the group. They go to the pool and the dwarf steps into it. One of the men walks over and thrusts a dagger through the back of the dwarf's throat. Go on... 
The image dissolves and suddenly you can see that the dwarf is in the spirit's realm. A few minutes later he is joined by several of the other men. One of the other men, Master Ward, and the name Frelmar forms in your mind. The group walks over to the walks toward the spirit's tree, spreading out until they form a circle. Three of the men rush at the spirit while Relmar sneaks up on the tree. Relmar takes the axe and coats the edge of with a green liquid. He hacks at the tree a couple of times. So that's how they managed to poison you, but why? The image returns with the two men who are not in the fight running over to the tree. They start to dig between its roots until they uncover a smooth, flat stone. One of the men in the image laughs and then casts a spell. The two step through a portal that appears and they are gone. Relmar goes to run through the portal, but it disappears. The last of the men fighting the weakened spirit are slain and Relmar flees away from the tree to disappear. What was on that stone? All images disappear from your mind to be replaced by a glowing sigil. The glyph pulses with power and you get the sense of extreme, incredibly lo strong magic. As you look at the ruin, the feeling changes from power to time. You feel ages slipping away from your present to the past long before your time, before the demi-human races, even before the humans had power. The sense of time disappears and you are left with an image of the spirit placing the stone in the roots of the tree. The images recede entirely from your mind and your body feels distorted for a short moment. The spirit smiles at you. The last thing you sense is pleasant emotion of farewell. And I am back home. Yay! Are the animals going to attack me this time? Hey, boar. Hey. Yes, yes, that is true. That is true. Glad to see it. Glad to see it. Uh, dear, sorry, dear, I did not want to kill you, but, yeah. Tire beer, let's just have a nice chat with the two of you. Yes, yes. Indeed. Of course, this tire beer still needs to be attacked, or can be attacked, but does it need to be? I have no idea. Ooh, 13 gold. Bolts of Frostbite. And Endurance. Nice. Anyways, I'll just leave the two of you. Okay. Now let's get back to the Druid Circle and let them know of what happened. And the fact that I did not kill all of the animals. I tried to kill none of them, but it was impossible. But at least I did not kill all of them. Actually, let us rest just in case something is happening in the druid circle. I don't want to be caught unaware and get hit in the face till I die. I would rather be hit in the face until I'm mortally wounded and then hit the person hitting me in the face until they die. That would be a little bit better. Okay. And just go over here. So how was everybody's day today? Mine was okay. Not great, just okay. So you have gone and solved our problems, eh? Well, I guess I didn't have to be stopping no more wonders then, and that's for sure. Hey, Tommy. Figured to drag your carcass back here eventually. Yes, yes. You need me to come with you again? Yes, I do. Lead the way. I will. Now. I will. Hey, guy. Um. So I guild up the forest. I see Yay. you are back. I have cured the spirit of the wood. You have done very well, lad. With the spirit of the wood cured, we can return to our union with nature and her creatures without fear of destruction. Here's 500 gold as promised earlier. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Okay. Hmm. What should I do? Yeah, I think I'll do this option. 
Why? Because. Restoring the balance of nature is rewarding enough for me. Give the 500 gold pieces to the poor instead. May the glory of Sylvanus shine on your blessed heart, Lord. Nature will surely remember your generous spirit. And I got a cloak. What kind of cloak? Cloak of the High Forest. Uh, only usable by druids, yay. And this one is a cloak of elven kind, which is hide plus ten, which eh, I don't really need. Scratch my foot. Now then, let's go back to town. Hi, Nirok. I'll take it. Uh, I'd like to make a purchase. Merchant's reaction is unfavorable, per usual. Now, I don't have a use for you. Probably should have. Oi. Oi. Something's wrong. Why can I not move the tower shield? Or do anything with the tower shield for that matter? Uh, card. Crud, crud, crud. So. No idea what I'm going to do here. I mean, is the cloak, like, completely, in, or not the cloak, but it's a shield, completely unable to be used anymore? Or is it just having simple problems, or what? Either way, got plenty of fairy dust, got plenty of quartz crystals. Let's go back outside. And, uh... Oh, let's see what we can do with the shield. Okay, here's an idea. Save. Yes, save. Load. Yes. Load. Now can we mess with that shield? Yes. Probably was just a bug. Okay, Kendrick Spirics. Hey, Arabeth. You need to gain admittance into Luskan to follow your lead yes, about yes. the host tower. Speak to Eren Gend. He has a plan to get you into the city. Really? I understand that you have found information pinpointing the cult within Luskan. Yes. That is good. I believe I have found a way inside the city. Awesome. An old friend of mine is a sergeant who works the city gates. Mm -hmm. I have convinced him that the plague is no longer a threat. And as a favor, he has agreed to allow my agents and I into the city. Excellent. I will give your description to him, so he will allow you entry. Erebeth and I shall be moving our base of operations to Luskan, so we will meet you there. Are you sure your friend will let me into the city? I am quite confident, yes. He does not have the power to let us back out, however. Once we are inside Luskan, we are inside for good and cannot return to Port Last. Well, what about my uh, town portal thingy? How will I get into the host tower? I am not completely sure just yet. Seek me out in Luskan when you arrive, and hopefully I will have a plan for you then. What are you and Erebeth going to do? I will be to find you a way into the host tower, of course, so you can explore your lead further. Excellent. Erebeth insists on coming to Luskan as well. I believe she feels a strong need to see this through. Mm -hmm. To take vengeance for what happened to Fenthic. I right. shall not deny her. Excellent. Uh, very Elizabeth well. and I shall begin moving our base to the Temple of Tyr within Luskan. Oh, there's a Once temple. Once you get there. inside the city, meet us there. You got Remember it. Remember to finish up any loose ends you have and to take what companions and gear you need before going to Luska. You will not be able to leave the city once you enter. Okay. Go then, and do what you must. I wish you success. Thank you very much, sir. And I think that will do it for this episode. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, or whatever you want. And as usual, this Omdays44 signing out, wishing you a wonderful day, and happy gaming. Farewell.